I have went to my storage locker and cleaned out a bunch of stuff. Um, and I'm filling up this whole laundry tote, I guess you could say, um, full of stuff to put on the whatnot at the end of the month. This is a nice leather purse. It's T. Janello purse. I think I said purse. Um, so there's going to be handbags, some vintage, some modern. I'm putting a few pieces of clothing, mostly some just cool vintage pieces. Um, but other than that, it is literally a little bit of everything. Um, vintage, modern, uh, not really shoes and clothing besides the stuff I'm pointing out just because it's easier for people to want stuff universal than something that's specified for one person but this I am actually going to be selling on eBay but the rest of this stuff is getting ready to be put on whatnot I have a whole like vintage scrapbooking type stuff here I'm gonna try to find all of my um pin cushions, vintage pin cushions, and I wanted to lot them all up and put them in one lot. So I'm going to do that. But yes, there is just going to be a ton of stuff. Very cool stuff. So if you all want to stop by at the end of the month, it's June 30th, 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. I think someone was asking about this. I'm gonna put batteries in it to see if it works, but it's a little picture frame with a light up little lamp. It's so cute. Um, vintage, hand painted. Anyways, that's gonna be on there. Um, but $2 starts on everything that is in the whatnot, except um, I'll have a Fendi purse, which I will also pop in once I get the pictures of it to show you all kind of what that is and that will be a start price of 250 dollars harley davidson mug but yes i have quite the feet ahead of me i'm gonna be taking pictures of all of this stuff uploading it to the whatnot uh show catalog so you can kind of all see what will be in the show but i am thinking it's going to be pretty massive i'm hopefully i'm hoping we can turn through it pretty quickly i know the auctions are like 30 seconds 60 seconds per auction um but i also don't want to keep you guys there all day so it might be a two-parter i don't know oh almost broken um and i'm not sure if i'm going to be lauding all of the um wooden animals together I have a huge lot of them, so I'm not sure if I should do it separate or all together, but yeah, there's just literally going to be a little bit of everything in the auction, $2 starts, so hopefully I'll see you guys there. Um, I will try to put a little thing in the video to show where you can go. My whatnot name is Hello Handbags. Um, shows at the end of June and there's gonna be a ton of stuff it's literally just massive <laughs> I'm gonna be shipping probably all weekend but I think it'll be fun it'll help me get through some of this stuff so I can keep making videos for you all so let's do it let's have some fun um, links are gonna be down below in the description section and also the first pinned comment so, um, and if you use my link to sign up, you get 10 free dollars to spend on your first purchase wherever. Um, I think there are better links out there, if I'm being honest, for like 15. I think some links offer you 15 free dollars. Um, so they're out there somewhere, but mine only offers 10. But if you want to use my link, you get 10 free dollars to spend. So I'm going to unload some of this stuff and then I'm going to be off on my next journey. I have to go pick up some stuff from an estate sale and then I will be headed to a Goodwill because the price change was just yesterday. So I wanted to get in there and see if there's anything a good left. All right, I will see you on the next part of the journey. Bye. Okay, I picked up my stuff from the estate sale. I'm gonna try to 
combine some of it. I don't think it needs to be in all of these boxes. We'll see. Um, but I think they just did that for lots. But I think most of it is vintage. I have three boxes of books, <laughs> which I don't usually get books, but these were all um, pretty old, which I love the <clears throat> older books. What is happening? Okay. Um, and a lot of them are first and second edition books. Um, here's a few. The Sunbonnet Bibbies. Rain and Shine. Aw. Just old books. Light in August. Nineteen thirty-two and then nineteen fifty evangelical album. Um, anyways, I have three boxes of books, um, so I'm not sure exactly. I might just post them all on the eBay's. Let's see what we can do with them. I know books are not like super high sellers, but. Um, I think most of these lots I got for $5 for each box. Um, so I felt like I just needed to so I think I'm just going to combine some of these. Let's see what we can do. Um, and then I have another box in my back seat, so I'll probably just put some of those in there. And then we got some vintage toys, little Miss Piggy Muppet Babies. She's cute. Um, little cup. Some of this stuff was just very random. Cold milk. What does that say? Hot soup, ice cream, soda, one scoop. Bernstein Bears. A princess house. Mug. Mm. It's just like a really random. I think this one was like five bucks to five dollars, I should say. Um, but it was just a vintage Disney. Made in USA. We got that. What else is in here? Ooh. Oh, someone's smoking. I'm like, I smell smoke. Someone's yelling at someone. Um, this was the Dr. Seuss box. I think I paid maybe six bucks for this. Um, it was just a bunch of new Dr. Seuss stuff. I don't know if it's vintage. 2003. Um, what's this one? 2003. 2002. So, just a bunch of different Dr. Seuss things. 2000. That's cute. This little tin with a handle. Um, so we got that. A little Dr. Seuss thing. Let me see. Stay. Uh, this was the most expensive thing I got. I think I ended up paying 50 for him. But I will put comments on the screen. Um, there was one other one in the auction. There was like another person bidding outbidding me on these so I think he realized the um Axtol Amazing Ape the what is it value of these oh my gosh he's adorable 
But yes, I paid up for him. Put him back in his. Oh, now I just look like I'm trying to suffocate him. Um, and last is a Winnie the Pooh box. How much did I pay for the Winnie the Pooh box? Six dollars. Okay, so I paid six dollars for all of this. Made in USA. Thermos. I mean by thermos. Oh, so it's a little lunchbox. So is his little wait. Pull down. Okay. Oh yeah, there's this little thing in here. Oh, well that's amazing. Love it. Very um unique. It still has its tag. It's an old tag. Um Winnie the Pooh ornament. Your um, collector tin and two decks of playing cards. Okay. A pin. A little box. Looks like there's like four of these pencil pouches. Seeing a date, right? Two thousand, maybe. Um, some little party. I could probably just do a party lot. Some little Winnie the Pooh pencils, pens made in Japan. So those are probably vintage. And there's all of our got some folders these are like not used either so not bad some Winnie the Pooh band-aids it was definitely a Winnie the Pooh theme Ooh, all this is coming out some Valentine's I don't know if those are Winnie the Pooh. And a little deflated ball. Made in USA. All right, so yeah, that's what we got. So I'll be going through some of that stuff, but I mean for $6. Not bad, not bad. Well, let me look at the price of the rest of the stuff. Yeah, the Miss Piggy box was 6 Uh Dr. Seuss box was $5 for the box. And then I paid pretty much five dollars, um, five or six. And then my um, my ape was most expensive. Yeah. In other news, we're here at Goodwill, and we're ready to find some things. It is day two of the color change, so I'm hoping there's some good stuff still to be found on the shelves. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's a nice day. No complaints. So I'm going to fix my mess. And then I'm going to be headed in to see what I can find at Goodwill. All right, let's go. I think I'm going to go straight to the hard goods. Skip the shoes. I still feel like looking at shoes today. Someone made it. Um, the color is blue. So, a goal is to find the blue stuff. This is PMS <laughs> workbook, Real California. Made in England? Hmm. I might look that up. Does it say real cow? What is Oh, real calf skin. Sorry. Sorry! 
I can read only on some days. It's a nice little planner. The music be real loud in here. 1988, so this is a vintage one. 4.99 day runner. I like to pick up the vintage uh, planners. Most of the time they do pretty well, and this one is has a lot of its original stuff in it. I might get that one. There's kind of a lot of planners today. They're all about, oh, it looks like maybe someone donated all of theirs. Franklin Quest is also good. Not vintage. But that's okay. Let's see what you look like. Kind of reminds me of me. Um, I pretty much buy any planner under the sun. And then I use it maybe like one time. It's a problem, I know. And we have another Franklin Quest. Or Franklin Cove. Where? What year are you from? It doesn't super matter. $3.99. Oh, I'm filling up on planners today. Uh, another Franklin Cove. These are all in super good condition as well. You can add your own dates. Let's see if there's a. So not super old. Looks like 2015. Um, I'll look these up. I know vintage Franklin Cove. Um, does well. I'm not sure about the newer ones, but I'll probably look before I leave this at a glance. Um, before I leave this aisle so I'm not like traipsing around with 900 planners. Yep, this person is just like me. A hoarder of planners. That one. Uh, what else do we have down here? A vintage Dell. And it's half price, so it is $2.50. Little like briefcase. I might look this up. needs a little cleaning, but I wonder if this is leather. Hmm. I will take a peek at what those do on the interwebs. Not bad. Okay, what are our planners all around here? I looked at that one, but that one is also Day Runner. Lined journal. <laughs> oh, what's this one down here? Travel journal. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, a photo album. A very fancy photo album. Art leather. Two ninety nine. Mm. It's very fancy. Oh god, that's really heavy. That's a heavy one. Okay. Okay, what else is hiding in here? Mm. 
day timer. Ooh, I've seen a few things. Seeing some better days, but it is leather. 1983. I'm just having a problem today. I don't know, that looks pretty warped. Another one, but it's six ninety-nine. Learning words, talking basics, making statements. Great for English as a second language. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna look up my planners. Oh hey, I just picked up this um, guy's art at a estate sale. This was Tony's. Um, okay, I'm gonna look up the planners, see if they're worth getting, and I will be putting back, oh here's a vintage day timer. Um, putting back stuff that I shall not get, so I will be right back. Okay, we're starting out with a cart full of planners. I'm not upset about it. I like a good planner. But that rose music is pretty loud, actually still pretty close to the loud music. So I'm just gonna do a little, I'm not super, there are some games that do well, but you kind of have to know what they are and I don't. What do we have up here? Ooh, ten dollars. Okie dokie. Oh, I think I saw them last time. Clifford, $3.99. Oh, he's cute. Little Squishmallow, $4.99. I think that's supposed to be Piglet. Maybe? There's a lot of squishies, squishy mallows. I think I saw him last time. Okay. Weird little stash over here. Oh, someone brought that bought that huge Totoro.
wish sister. $6.99. Got a lot of fake flowers. He is very light. Anchor lock bottle caps. When were you made? Hmm. They're one ninety nine. like intense in the craft aisle right now. Someone painted that. $12.99. They see that painted tote as special. Oh, what are you? <gasps> Re what? Made in Portugal $10. It's pretty. I think someone put it there. Stamps. Okay, let's get away from the music. Basket aisle. I don't really spend a ton of time in the basket aisle. $7.99. Just like someone left this here. 25th anniversary. $3.99. Little wall pocket, a dollar. Looks like all the paint is wore off that bow. This is a perpetual calendar and an engineer, a mechanical, mechanical calendar that tracks the days of the week. They want $7.99. Oh, and it's closed, like, up here. Someone open this one. Oh, this is a coin sorting machine. Oh, I see it's like a build a... Hmm, interesting. Six ninety nine. Okay. I think I'm ready to move on. Very interesting bases. A little bunny. Three ninety tall. 15 from Kohl's. Okay. Stay. Ooh, that is really light. $12.99. This guy's just been on the shelf every time I've been here. $1.99. It's very light. $4.99. It's kind of fun. That's, that's fun. 
give it an honorable mention. The one-eared bunny, who is now half off, so they are one dollar. Else. There's not an incredible amount. Okay. This is half price. So two fifty on that one. This is interesting. It's very light. Half price. Oh, I saw that last time. Last time, it's a very interesting mug. It's very cracked, but it is one dollar. Oh, I remember this too. It keeps showing up on the shelf. Little elephants. a cute picture picture sango hmm, sango I can't remember about sango a very relaxed teddy bear There's some broken pieces on that but it is $2.99 and it's from January, which I come here, or I have been coming here pretty frequently. Where are these popping up from? What's SFI $3.99? The music is exceptionally loud today. They are rocking it out at the Goodwill. What is up here? I have a little bunny. Ooh. There's like a lot of precarious things up here. What, what is that? Okay. What are you, little bunny house? Mm, I'm scared. Avon. Very cute. What is back here? It is signed four ninety nine. It's a nice looking bird. Okay, I think I'm gonna go down the other side now. River Trish, Trish, please, River Trish, Thank you, River. See what I can find on the other side. Okay, we're on the second side. Studio Nova, $4.99. Some little, oh, these. They're only a dollar. Home of Seamstress International Resourcing Services, 
all of those are a dollar. I wonder if those might be a decent. I might get those. Oh, this is cute. A dollar. 1993 Crayola. Adorable. I like a good pastel. Obviously. Um, what are you? Oh, I'm a clear 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 Thank you. No. Remember seeing that? These are all over, but they, I mean, I sold one for 40 bucks. I don't know why they're everywhere. I have another one I picked up, but I'm not picking up anymore. I'm not going to be a hoarder of art glass. Two dollars. It's painted terribly. Here's another little house. Oh, this is a different. Oh, Kay's collection. I'm looking that up the last time. Made in Oklahoma. Something sawmill products. A little souvenir -y type of thing. Holiday Glow Candle Holder. Okay, I'm gonna look up those little houses and I might get those. They're only a dollar each. Scentsy. I think it's missing a part though that goes on top. Okay, what do we have? Ooh, look at this recipe box. $1.99. Oh man, I might need this. <laughs> that is adorable. Okay, let's go down the glasses aisle. I think I picked the. Mm, did I pick these up last time? They're three dollars a piece. Let's do a little looky loo down here. Seeing if anything stands out. I liked these last time too. I couldn't really find anything on them though. Just that they're art glass, I guess. They are two dollars a piece now. Someone bought that colorful margarita glass with the bird on it. That was really pretty, actually. Okay, any mugs? Let us browse. World Market. $2.99. $1.99. A lot 
of creasing on that one. Those are from Target. Three dollars. These. I think I saw these last time too. Yeah, I did. What are you selling this for? $2.99. That was probably free. $2.99 for each of those. That's a fun mug. $10. It was at Linen and Things for 20 I don't know if it's all in there, but... Okie dokie, I think I'm ready to move on to the next aisle. See what else we can find. some plates. I put back the Sango creamer. It looks like it goes for about 10. Um, and they wanted five, so not really the best. These are fun, but I don't think they sell for much. From what I remember. Do these go? No, they're just sub Oh, I see the cups. The Sweet Shop by Sango, four ninety nine. Ooh, if there was a top to this, I would be about it. A little butter dish. Maybe there is somewhere hiding. They're selling a set of one, two, three, four, five, six plates for seven. Oh yeah, the music is just blasting today. $4.99, no name, but a very cool dish. Germany, $2.99. Well, Housenware, $1.99. I still like this. Holy guacamole. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, all the fish, fish stuffs are still here. These are cute, but they are insanely heavy. Ooh. 
set of four for five bucks, five dollars, sorry. I think this is Martha Stewart. They're so heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tramontina? 25. Oh my I don't know how you people cook in these. You have to have like major muscles. Just putting the lid on that thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, so cute little piggies. Heartfelt kitchen creations. $2.99 for the creamer. Uh, the sugar is probably $2.99. And then the teapot, $4.99. That is a pretty adorable set. His nose has been a little chippy chipped, but I might look that up. Mikasa Maxima, $2.99. Okie dokie. I think I'll look a few things up and I will be right back. Okay, we're in the extra dishes aisle. What are you? Drinking darts. Okay. Three ninety nine. Wet nails. Two ninety nine. Signature collection, select fine China Japan Coronet, Made in Holland. Blessings. Four ninety Thank you. 
think I've been down in this aisle. Oh, no one's got the granny yet. She's still back there, waiting for a home. Very large bear. Oh, they're still here. Do I want this? Maybe I will pick this up, actually. I saw it last time and I liked it. This is like plastics aisle. Little placemat. Made in England. Pimpernel. $1.99. There is two of them. English cottage. Hmm. Don't need a straw wrapper. Might get to these. Have a lonely little donkey. One ninety nine. I think I'm ready to move on to the next aisle. The aisle. Mm, half price, two fifty. That's cute. If I didn't have to ship it, I've definitely learned my lesson with some of the stuff I've shipped. I mean, it got there okay, but I have had to do some intensive wrapping for some of this stuff that I'm like, yeah, I'll ship that. Mm, it was a bad idea. What in the world? Blended Scots Whiskey. 30 dollars. Oh my. I have no idea what that is or what it's about. Ooh. I'm kind of looking at getting another cheese grater. I have an exciting life, what can I tell you? Oh, 
much on this one. There's a lot of um, these from Target. Let's look at the lab. These are fun. These are 13 of these. Oh lord. They are heavy. Heavy little beasts. $7.99. It's kind of a nice blanket. Let's look at the rest of the lamps. Registers for backup, Miguel to the registers for backup, thank you. Four ninety-nine. It's kind of a pretty lamp actually. Five dollars? Hmm, I might get that. is this one. Figgy Graphics. 1993. 3.99. <laughs> hmm. And there's like a mystery box. Okie dokie, I think I might continue through the blankets and see what we can find there and then maybe go to the art. Fifteen. It's kind of a nice blanket. Time's up. Well, at least I know it works.
Oh my, that is like fully beaded. <laughs> 13. Para. Can I have any available associate issue me 25? It is a green and blue women's Nike shoe. Again, issue me 25. It is a green and blue women's Nike shoe. Thank you. Ooh, these are fun. Look at those. $3.99. Those are so cute. Oh, do I want to get these? I think I'm going to leave them in the interest of hoarding or not hoarding. <clears throat> That's a nice end table. Ten dollars. Massive desk for fifteen. Ottoman thing. Thirty. I think those are curtains. Okay. Let's take a little look at the art. Fly TWA designed and printed in Maui, Hawaii. Island Art Store. Hmm. Might take a look at that. It's plastic. There's another one. This TWA. I'm not. I'm not thinking of it. Can I have one back to cashier, please? One back to cashier. Thank you. Fun art, though. $3.99 a piece. Heavy. I'm gonna need two hands for that one, so I'll come back to it. Cute little bear. Signed Ruan Manin. some stuff and I will be back. Okay, here is our stash that we are ending up with for the day. First is going to be this Coca-Cola little timer. It does work. I've had to reset it this whole time so it doesn't ding. And it did ding once. Um, so it works. $2.99 on that one. This very abstract art mug. Shalom Master Cubist. I did not look this up, but it is $2, so I'll be getting that. 
A little kitten recipe box. $1.99 wooden recipe box. It's adorable. So getting that. Next are three prints. Uh, they are $3.99 each. Fly TWA. And they were printed at the Island Art Store. Um, the print itself seems to actually do okay. And the originals are like insanity. So we're getting all three of them. They're $3.99 each. They're fun, I think. Fun prints. Um, we are getting two placemats, $1.99 each, English Cottage, and they are Pimpernel Made in England. So, two of those. A massive amount of planners. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planners, all about $4.99 to $3.99 each. Um, and then down here is a leather, very professional looking photo album. Um, and this is a good price too, $2.99. Getting that. Um, I decided just to get the creamer and sugar of these. The teapot was a little chipped up and doesn't sell for as much, but these are $2.99 each. And they're a little sad too, but I think they're worth it. And his nose is a little chippy, but that's okay. This one I found on the last time I was here, and I was like, oh, I should have picked that up, but here we are. We're picking it up this week. $3.99. I think it's Imperial. An Imperial um, candle holder. And last is this glass crystal lamp. You can see where the little light bulb goes. And that is $4.99. That was a pretty good deal for a nice little cute lamp. Just needs a little wipe down. So our MVPs of the day were all of these planners someone's whole collection of planners which would probably be me to be honest because I am a hoarder of the planners so but you know you find different stuff every time well I do anyway and I'm happy with that I love planners love selling them they're easy to sell so win-win all right, I think that is going to wrap up this video for today. Just a reminder, my whatnot sale is at the end of the month, June 30th, 4.30 PST. And most everything um, from Goodwill Retail will be on my eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I will be mostly putting a lot of the bins inventory um, into my whatnot sale. And at the beginning of the video, you can kind of see a preview of what some of that will be. So, um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. If you want to stop by, I think we'll have a good time. All right. Until the next dig, we'll see you later. Bye.